Oh, what has JV done through the first two games, especially on the defensive end, that, that you've been happy with? Well, again, uh, you know, everybody can do a better job. Uh, Jonas did a decent job of commanding the paint, especially when they go small. Uh, you know, he's done a good job of really uh, rebounding, um, uh, finishing plays in the paint when they try to put a smaller guy on him. Uh, we got to do a better job of protecting the paint uh, against uh, Wall's penetration. Uh, he can't let Gortad hold him when he gets, you know, when the penetration is happening. Gortad's just grabbing and holding. And, uh, you know, he's got to break, you know, it's got to be a wrestling match. He's got to make the officials make a decision how they're going to call that. And uh, so, but, you know, I love his energy level. I love his intensity. I love his fight uh, in that situation. You mentioned yesterday that about that meeting with Lamar and, and, uh, and uh, Kyle. Kyle and, uh, and uh, did they come to you looking for that meeting or did you? No, I asked to talk to them just to see what they were thinking, see how they were feeling. It, it wasn't a big deal. I mean, we don't want to make a narrative, out, a story out of something that was, you know, someone asked me when, when you know, we talked about it because we were struggling a little bit at the time. Wasn't, wasn't a life-changing experience. I guess it is a big deal in that the buy-in. Eventually you get that buy-in. And, and, and when that buy But they happens. started it the whole year. I yeah. mean, we just had a little lull at that time, Michael. Uh, but the buy-in has been there the whole year. So did you uh, did you find one was buying in quicker than the other? No, no, no. It was it, it was a it was a, t uh, a twins moment. <laughs> What's impressed you the most about OG? His first postseason. What's he done? His co his cool under pressure. His understanding the moment. Uh, he's not phased by being in the playoffs and that type of thing. I think that's the most important thing. So um, you know that's that's what. I'm impressed with more than anything for being a rookie. Uh, you know, he, he may miss a play or miss a scheme or whatever, but it's not because he's in the first round of the playoffs for the first time. When he gets into the groove early on, like he's had some good starts in games mm -hmm. one, two. Mm -hmm. How much does that help you guys on both ends? True, it is a huge because of the fact he's knocking down shots, he's knocking down threes, uh, he's doing a good job of defending, he's hitting the offensive boards, which kind of cuts down on their running game. And so um, we love the, just his approach. And again, just letting him know it's going to be a different experience in, in Washington. It's going to be a, a, a hostile crowd, hostile situation uh, against a, you know, a team that's down 2-0. What's the latest on Fred? We'll see. He, he's day still day to day. Has he, has he been able to participate in much the last couple of days? Who, who's wanting to know? Pardon me? Who's wanting to know? Uh, well, I am. OK, he, he's day to day. He's day to day. <laughs> Are you expecting them to run more? In the regular season, Beal really had some big games when he was creating for himself and Wall was out. Are you expecting them to maybe let him create for himself a little more? Well, he did. He did all the lane third and fourth quarter uh, the other night. He just kind of took the game over himself, and, uh, you know, we allowed him to, to do what he wanted to do, and we got to do a better no, job. Not Wall, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, He's obviously struggled. Right, right. Right, well, again, I don't understand. He still missed some good shots. I, I'm not saying he's struggling. I thought he had some, some great looks. Um, you know, we got to do a better job of making sure we know where he is on penetration. When Wall is penetrating, uh, we lost him a few times. And, uh, again, he, Bill's a great player. He's one of the most dynamic guards in our league. And, uh, you know, we, we got to treat him as such and not look at he's had a couple of games where he hasn't shot well or whatever. Uh, we're going to treat him as if he's, you know, who he is. What have you seen from your defense <clears throat> when they go without a traditional center like Gortat or Mahimi, if it's Scott at the five or uh, Morris at the four? What do I see? What have you seen from your defense in those situations? I see that we got to do a better job of, of getting to Morris and getting to Scott and challenging the shot and taking up space. We've talked, we've talked about potentially going smaller with the starting lineup. How does that impact things if they, if they do that? We'll see. We'll see. We're not. We're not going to announce how we're going to play certain no. situations. So we'll see. Dwayne, what did you think of the impact that, that Lawson was able to have for Washington in Game Two, and how much of a factor do you see him potentially being? The speed. Uh, his speed is a factor. We got to make sure we understand what he's trying to do to us. We, you know, again, some of the guys, young guys, haven't seen. I don't know if Delon's ever played against Lawson. You know, in the NBA maybe in the summertime, but, um, you know, his speed is a different level. 
but you also got to understand what he's looking for in those situations and hopefully we'll we'll do a better job of reading what he's trying to do to us um, engaging his speed better and, and wall speed better because we, we have not done a good job of ga gauging their speed How much all right do you think DeLon's success you know can be attributed to someone like Corey last year learning from guy Corey it's huge he, he I thought he learned a lot from Corey uh, and I think he would tell you that now he I think he's also learned a lot from Kyle and and uh, Fred's learned a lot from Kyle also so uh, but Corey's uh, championship experience I thought last year DeLon learned from how he approached the game uh, and again you know Kyle's leadership and, and the way he's he attacks the game I think both Fred and DeLon have learned from from him so uh, they've got a good they got to take advantage of that tutelage that they're getting on a daily basis just watching him on the floor in the games learning from him uh, you know, and because it's invaluable. They'll look back on their career and see how important it was to have a guy like Kyle and DeMar on their team uh, and learn from him. I, I just remember so many guys, you know, in the past, uh, J.J. Barrera watching Jason Kidd, you know, uh, guys, Eric Snow watching Gary Payton. Just, you know, there's so much you can learn you don't even understand that you're really absorbing as much on a daily basis.